When you learn Russian, you will need to learn some endings. That's how we make sense of a Russian sentence. But those endings are often spelled in more than one way. And usually, the spelling depends on whether we're adding the ending to a hard or a soft stem. First of all, what is a stem? It's basically the part of the word that comes before the ending. Notice that occasionally, a few forms of a word won't have any ending, like gorod and gost. If we take away the ending, we're left with the stem. Stems can be hard or soft, but what does that mean? What are hard and soft stems? You probably know that most Russian consonants come in two varieties, hard and soft, or unpalatalized and palatalized. If you need a review of this, it'd be a really good idea to watch this video on hard and soft consonants first. If there's no soft sign after a consonant at the end of a word, then we know that last consonant is hard. So, gorod ends in a hard consonant, and this is a hard stem. And if a word ends in a soft consonant, we show that it's soft by adding the soft sign, like gost, so this is a soft stem. But what if we need to put an ending on these words? We'll want to be sure that the spelling of the ending reflects whether that last sound of the stem is hard or soft. Since gorod ends in a hard consonant, we'll spell the ending that sounds like a ah with this letter. Gorda. Gost, though, ends in a soft consonant, so we'll spell the ending with the letter ya. Gostya. The soft sign goes away since the letter ya shows that the t is soft. Keep in mind that the vowel sounds in these endings are basically the same. We are just using different letters to show the hardness or softness of the preceding consonants. And what if we need a plural ending with the nouns komnata and kuchnya? The letter A shows us that the stem, komnat, ends in a hard consonant, so we'll use the letter U. But in kuchnya, the letter ya shows us that this ñ is soft, so it's a soft stem, and we'll spell the ending with the letter E. And similarly, for neuter nouns like akno and polya, an ending that sounds like U will be spelled with the letter U after the hard stem, and the letter U after a soft stem. Now, you might have noticed that at the beginning of this video, I said that usually the spelling of an ending depends on whether we're adding it to a hard or a soft stem. Why usually? As you continue with Russian, you'll learn just a few endings that are the same for any stem, hard or soft. For example, to express about most things, we'll use the ending ye yeah on most nouns, regardless of whether the stem is soft or hard. So, about the room is a komnatya, and about the kitchen is a kuchnya, with the same spelling for the ending, even though komnata has a hard stem and kuchnya has a soft stem. And there's one last thing to keep in mind. There's a spelling rule, often called the seven-letter rule, which says that we never write e after these seven letters. Instead, write e. So that explains why nouns with a hard stem, like malchik and yosh, will have a plural ending spelled with e, not e. Summing up, the stem of a Russian word is everything before the grammatical ending. Stems can be hard or soft, depending on the hardness or softness of the last consonant. The spelling of most Russian noun endings depends on whether the stem of the word is hard or soft. Later, you'll learn two exceptions, the prepositional singular in ye and the dative feminine singular in ye, which are used regardless of the hardness or softness of the stem. Other seeming exceptions are explained by the seven-letter rule, which says that we write e instead of e after these seven letters.